All right, how we doing tonight? So it's about a little bit after seven o'clock here, 13 uh, October Pacific time. I'm at the Rio. All right, just across the interstate is the Caesars Palace, just south of that, okay? Or to, uh, let's see here. The right of that is the city center Cosmopolitan the uh, wheel and the Manley Bay just a little bit further down at the end and the panor panorama. Okay, this is a pretty look, good location here. Actually, I'm on the back side of the Rio. This is uh, Twain and uh, it's like the uh, entrance road, uh, access to the Rio. And I want to talk about, let's see here, the 52nd annual and the last poker tournament that's going to be held here at the Rio, okay? Uh, event that started in 1968. It was held at the Rio for the first year, 1979. So we're going to get into that here. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because I got a lot I want to talk about. All right, folks, so how we doing once again? Uh, thanks for tuning in tonight. So I'm at the Rio and I had to get my notepads out for this one because I'm going to try to get you guys more detailed videos and not and less of these practical ones. OK, things that you can actually learn from and I can learn from myself because I've learned a lot just by looking at this, these articles about poker because I really don't play poker. If I do uh, play, I may do some blackjack or maybe some roulette. All right, and maybe I'll get around to do videos about that later on or whatever, okay, uh, in the future. So, I want to talk about this uh, poker tournament. It's going to be held from 30 September to 23 November, okay, uh, the championship. And they're going to have a myriad of events and all that but first of all it's for the most important part you know i want to talk about some rules it's like uh rule 151 okay you guys that know about these rules and all that for you poker aficionados all right for so for a long time you know this has been a gathering where everybody's been close together but you know with all the changes and all what's going on in this world this new world here uh, it's not like that anymore, okay? So they went through a lot of COVID protocols this year. Actually, last year was it was canceled. So some of the rules that they have as far as that is everybody that walks through those doors to the, uh, the gaming room has to be tested, okay? So if anybody tests positive, they cannot come inside the, to uh, the play. Now, as the event goes on, all right, then the players will be, you know, randomly and they will be tested every day, as well as the dealers. And some of the rules that I understand uh, is, let's just say you get a room of players and somebody gets tested positive for COVID, okay, whether it's a player or dealer, they can cancel the whole event, okay, that particular event. And we'll go over because it's probably about 10, 15 events. And from what I understand, these events go up to like a million dollars, okay? Invested to that events and just depend on how far you get in the tournament, you get like some type of uh, consolation gift, okay? To like, uh, from what I understand, if it's late in the tournament, you get like $50,000, all right? But there's gonna be more at stake because not only that you get like a grand prize, but you have, you may have a sponsor that may give you uh, like a uh, like a reward or a uh, commission also because you're sponsoring them. Okay, so with these rules in place, yeah, that you know it's not going to be things are not going to be the same anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so let's go over some of the events that they're going to have. Okay. Uh, let's see here. 
some type of blast event, okay, like speed blast, uh, turbo, uh, Texas Hold'em, Texas Hold'em, uh, horse, Let's see here, the notes are blowing and so forth, uh, Omaha High Low Roller, uh, High Roller, No Limit, uh, Triple Dan, Low ball draw, okay. Uh, those are some of the events that they have, okay. Uh, it's about maybe 10, again, maybe 15 events. I may have not covered some, but you got an idea of what I'm talking about. And you can do your own research, the uh, WSOP uh, website, and they'll talk about the events that they have and had. That we're, it's day 14 of this event. So this this tournament is going to go on for about about six to eight uh, weeks or so. Okay, you can see this program on either ESPN or CBS, or you can probably see uh, stream it online. Okay, or play online. So many players that are, have not showed up this year, they are playing online. Okay, uh, with the flight restriction and all that, particularly. Uh, people that come overseas because people come from everywhere for this event okay some of the, of the guys that play and just so you'll know uh, many of the players that are top ranked in the world I think it's like 13 out of 15 are in the US okay some of the so some of the top players that you have is Philip Hellman actually Philip Hellman is in third place Maurice Hawkins Ronald Israelius and Antonio Est Estendium. Okay, the events is going to be 88 events actually. Okay, so when I say 88 events, these are events that's going to happen throughout the day, every day, collectively. All right, uh, the prizes every day or the consolation uh, rewards go from 500 dollars to one hundred thousand dollars okay for the top positions okay so naturally you figure in the tournament the further you go the more money you're going to win all right plus whatever sponsorship money that you're going to you're going to win all right from what i understand that there's million dollars millions of dollars at stake so some of these guys could win sponsorship money from like one to two million dollars okay now that's uh set apart from the hundred thousand dollars that you will get rewarded here okay i think a lot of that just depends on how long you've been playing what type of sponsor you have how much money that sponsor you know has or whatever okay so if you're one of these big cor corporations that support poker all right i don't know the corporations but let's just say i'm using for an example like nike okay or uh i don't know uh maybe some type of real estate uh that promote casinos okay you you'll probably end up getting those big prizes like a million dollars all right that's probably uh the amount of money that they're going to make all year long okay with this tournament all right so it's, it's big time stuff and the reason why they're having this is going to be last year at the casino here is because it's supposed to be a renovation um uh, they're going to do supposed to be a 650 million dollar re uh, renovation now they wanted to tear this casino down okay to put a baseball stadium there but that stadium stayed in anaheim okay uh, how, uh rather okay or however the a's may come here but they may get extended that state uh the baseball field out there in cashman field downtown okay so they're going to keep the rio the investment group that bought it and they're going to renovate it. That's probably going to take about two years to do uh, from probably like November, December this year. So that'll be done at the end of 23. And I'll be interested to see what that's going to look like. But back to the tournament here. We got a lot of players that's going to be there. OK, from what I understand, something about like 300 players is just going to be here alone. All right. Um, I'm talking about major players, you know, so again, these are these events could be up to, from what I understand, one million dollars for event. So it's critically important that these guys don't come out uh, sick, uh, whether it's a player or dealers, 
because they rely on this money to support their families. Okay? So that's the skinny on the uh, poker tournament this year. All right? It still should be a very exciting uh, event. Okay? You, you can do your own research for yourself and check it out. All right? At the, on the networks I told you about. Okay? All right, that being said, let me wrap this up because I got to get back to work. Feel free to subscribe, share, leave your comments. Let me know what you think about the video. If you want to donate to the channel, cash app dollar sign Winston Spivey or S-P-I-V-E-W-1 at unlv.nevada.edu. All right, thanks for listening, ladies and gentlemen.